morning. We are the boss company XYZ. As part of bringing our comfort and services to other parts of the world, we agreed upon our internationalization process to begin in one of our fellow Latin countries, Colombia. Given that we noticed the need for a new way of transport, for starters, our company has been in the need of a new type of organizational culture, which will be implemented for our subsidiaries in Colombia. This will define boundaries among the firm, uh, develop a sense of identity among our workers, and also <coughs> engage workers and guide our principles when, when recruiting, developing, and transforming human talent. We know that the organization start, stands for comfort, enabling, and efficiency of access to transport, and it is important to enhance worker satisfaction, satisfaction in order to boost customers as well. Here's the outline. I think it's safe to say that these cultural elements were set according to Colombian culture, given that it's very indulgent, it's collectivist, and very uncertainty avoidant. And also, we are proactive in order to be team and human oriented. First of all, the first element are values. Uh, we will try to enhance the values of justice, the virtue of dealing fairly with others, truthfulness, the virtue of honesty, and magnanimity, a virtue relating to pride. Uh, it's the midpoint between giving someone an upgrade and having delusions of grandeur. It's given that you also need magnanimity in order to have this sense of self-worth and also strive for greatness. Another, another element are communication networks. We will nurture social interaction in order to indoctrinate new members into our culture and reinforce the messages among workers in the company. Another element, element is norms. We will have an ethics policy, an address code policy, and also a, a lot of reward policies. The main goal here is to create organizational justice by making our processes seem fairer to our employees so they know how we get, so they know how we get to our decisions. Remember that HR is also strategic so this helps. Finally, organizational climate is very important So, because we will focus on creating an atmosphere where people feel safe, where there is enough camaraderie and respect. Good and bad news need to be freely stated by our workers. Uh, let's not lose their trust, since it's really important for us. Another point that is going to be key for the success of this subsidiary is the role of the manager, of the leader, sorry. Um, He's important because he's the one that plans and articulates a strategy towards some goals of the company. And he works to keep the people motivated towards these goals. Uh, this leader will be in charge of creating the new company's culture, which is going to be highly motivated and goal oriented. And he will work with others to keep them motivated, realize, and reach their goals. The leader we're looking for should be transformational. This means that he gives personal attention and coach and advise others in the company. He will also give clarified roles and tasks to each member of the company. He will inspire others to transcend their own interesting and help others to, so, to reach their, their goals. And finally, promote intelligent and careful problem solving. The leader will also be charismatic. This will help him from, to set him apart from other people. And he will be sensitive to, to their, his subordinate needs. He will also be authentic. This means that he will be ethical and trustworthy things that are really important in a new company. And he will also act um, on his own beliefs. Uh, regarding the leadership style, we think we need somebody that is visionary. This means that he can mobilize people towards a common goal. And this is very important, especially when you're starting a new project, so you have a clear vision of what the project needs. The leadership style will also be affiliative. This means that it creates harmony and bonds between everybody that is working. Uh, this helps to deal with the stress and problems in, that can arise in, other, in any project. He will also be pace setting. This means that he will set high goals and standards. Um, this means that he, he will try to get quick results from a highly motivated team. And finally, his style also will be coaching. This is useful to, to gain a competitive advantage in the long term. But this helps to develop people for the future. Um, but advancing and helping others. Our motto for this uh, organizational culture will be effective team building and implementation of a common purpose or goal among our team members. Our function is basically to give, an uh, give all the empowerment to our workers so they create a better company next time.